Assalamu alaikum my dear students I your mathematics teacher Miss Amara from Pakistan School Muscat is here to welcome you all in mathematics class of grade 4 I hope my dear students you all are fine and safe and I hope you all are enjoying your studies well dear students as in our previous classes, we had learned about the decimals. We had learned about the place value of the decimal and we had learned that how we can convert the decimal numbers into fractions and how we can convert the fractions into decimals. And I hope that you people did a lot of practice for that exercise yes that's great so today we are going to start about adding and subtracting decimals dear students the objectives of our today's lesson are upon completion of this lesson we shall be able to explore decimal place value and we shall be able to add and subtract decimals so are you ready to learn about addition and subtraction of decimals wow great so my dear students here are the steps that we have to use while we are adding or subtracting the decimals dear students addition and subtraction of the decimals is same as we always do the addition and subtraction for the whole numbers. In the same way, we have to line up the place values of the numbers by lining up the decimals. Here the new thing is the decimal point. So same like the numbers, we have to line up the decimal point as well. If the numbers do not have the same number of digits after the decimal point, then you can use the filler zeros. And the filler zeros will help you line up the numbers. And even in subtraction, the filler zeros are more helpful. Then you have to add or subtract the numbers in the same place value positions as we always do for the whole numbers let's start learning about the addition and subtraction of decimals by using some examples here is the first example and we have two decimal numbers and we have to add these two numbers the numbers are 23.03 plus 20.5 so we have to line up the numbers and the decimal point so as you can see in the second number at the hundreds place there is nothing so you can put zero my dear students always you have to put zero towards the right place it can be 50, it can be 500, they all are same. Now we have to add according to their place value. So in the hundreds column, we have 3 plus 0 is equals to 3. Then come to the tenths column and here we have 0 plus 5 that is equals to 5. We have to write the decimal point under the decimal point and after that we have to come to the whole numbers so first we have to write the ones 3 plus 0 is 3 then we have to add the tens 2 plus 2 is 4 so in this way we get the answer as 43.53 let's solve one more example Let's line up the numbers 123.6 plus 45.69. So wherever the digit is missing, we can put the filler 0. 
as we know that 123.6 is equals to 123.60 there is no difference it cannot change the number and line up the decimal also as you know that 1 and 10 are not same but 0.1 and 0 0.10 are same so if we are writing 45.69 this is same as 0 045.69 it doesn't change the number as 1 and 0 1 are same in the same way 1.5 and 0 1.5 are same now come to the addition first of all we have to come to the hundreds column here 9 plus 0 is 9 then come to the tenths column and that is 6 plus 6 is equals to 12 so as we know that we have to write 2 here and what to do with the 1 yes it will be carry forward now we have to write the decimal point under the decimal point and now we have to add the whole numbers so 1 plus 3 plus 5 is equals to 9 then 2 plus 4 is equals to 6 and 1 plus 0 will be equal to 1 so in this way after adding these two numbers we get the answer as 169.29 so is it easy to add the decimal numbers yes now come towards the subtraction here we have two numbers 206.6 minus 65.80 so in the same way like addition we have to align the numbers we have to write the decimal point under the decimal point and dear students here you can see we can put the filler zero in the same way because 206.6 is same as 206.60 and 65.80 is same as 0.65 0.80 always remember that we have to write the decimal point under decimal point so 0 minus 0 is equals to 0 now can we subtract 8 from 6 no not at all then what to do we have to borrow from the next number so it will be 16 minus 8 and the previous number will be 5 now instead of 6 16 minus 8 is equals to 8 now we have to write the decimal point under the decimal point now come to the whole numbers so 5 minus 5 is equals to 0 so again we have 0 at top can we subtract 6 from 0 no we have to borrow from 2 2 will be 1 and now 0 become 10 so 10 minus 6 will be equal to 4 and 1 minus 0 will be equal to 1 after subtraction of these two numbers we get the answer as 140.80 so is it same like the whole numbers yes dear students this is same as we always do for the whole numbers in the same way always we have to add and we have to subtract the decimal numbers let's summarize our lesson now when we add and subtract numbers with decimals 
we work in exactly the same way as with the whole numbers but here we have to remember about the decimal point we should line up the place values of the numbers by lining up the decimals if the numbers do not have the same number of digits after the decimal point then we can add filler zeros and even in the subtraction the filler zeros are more helpful and then we have to add or subtract yes i hope you understood it dear students math can be related to our lives it teaches us to always be careful with the signs yes thank you all of you take care allah hafiz